Hello, and welcome to Madhouse Militia Presents, episode 121, In the Groove Again, from our August 2nd through 3rd, 2024 show. We gathered information about toilet flush force, resurrection policies, baby assistance, getting the cube going, the sounds of hotel life, cursing in multiple languages, what a caretaker is, which department we need, a hotel rash, commitment, special treatment, not how this works, and Peter Johnson. We also put out for Carrot Top, make it rain, get checked out for crickets, get too real, infuriate Rob, have an existential crisis, engage in strange hallway rituals, describe a nature scene, and we find out that Fernando also knows karate. We teach folks about fire alarm safety, how to have an outlandish conversation, the alchemists, how to deal with excess ice cream, see a big hallway show, try to get the owl out of the room, and install a 9 volt battery. This show features calls by Snappy Bakes, DTB, Luxapol, Dwight the Janitor, Big Boy Farts 666, Xenorax, Wasted Memory, Milkman, Miriam, Elasmo, and Axpa. Hey wait, that's me. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor. Wasted memory for rogueserver.com forward slash AKSPA, where we host the show every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, only on rogueserver.com. Dragomir for corndown.com, where he hosts a show at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on Friday nights at corndown.com or rogueserver.com forward slash Dragomir. We also wish to give thanks to our patrons such as Carlos T, Klusritz, Experts, Brian N, Mig Chungus, Jayad, Ryan T, Travis B, Gold Rust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Paynus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. Be sure to check out our products over on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhousemilitia forward slash shop. Uh, if you want to find out more about us, you can visit our website at immoralhole.com. Uh, immoraljuice.com is broken. I'm trying to figure out what I did. I broke the DNS. It's, it's going to Travels with Miriam's like uh, sign-in page for some reason, and I don't know why. It shouldn't be going there. It's on the same server, but it should be going to its own place, and something's wrong with the server, I guess. So that's on me. i got to fix that. Uh, but the other sites that work are horseycat.com. That's a site that I run, and I've been running for the last uh, decade for Carlito. Uh, he came up with it with Milkman on uh, Pranksgiving 2013, and... Uh, since then, it's it's kind of an art project that's grown legs and people know about it that aren't part of the community. It's quite an amazing thing. Uh, you can find out our old archives at uh, travelswithmiriam.com. You can check out um, all the there's 70 shows on there. There's 70 long episodes where we did eight-hour shows back in the day. So there's there's some old stuff in there that's really good and also some really bad stuff that I... No, nah, it's all Miriam being really, really sick and disgusting. You know, that's all. There's a lot of loud noise now all of a sudden. That's a problem. Uh, well, okay, patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can find us there. It's, oh, God, it's, it's getting closer. Uh, I, I don't know what to do. You're through to the Aquarius Casino Resort Laughlin. This is Emily speaking. How can I help you today? Fuck. Front desk. Fuck. 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 Let me put you through to security now. Please hold the line. What? Oh, what I said? Where is security? This is Andrew. Hi, I was trying to get to the front desk, and the, the AI sent me to you. I don't know why. Okay, no problem. I'll transfer you now. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You got it. Have a good night. Have you heard about True Rewards? Interprets <laughs> profanity as security. <laughs> Thank you for calling the courier. That's the Nina speaking. Hi, yeah, the owl is in the room again. He got in. The, there's an owl in the room? Yeah. What's the I room number? Um, last night, too. 
Well, I, uh, sir, you're talking to a different person. I wouldn't know. Oh, <laughs> Could I get oh, the room number, please? Because last night we came down to the desk, right, and we had a long conversation with whoever was there. Was that you? No, ma'am. I wasn't here last night. Uh, that's weird. Yeah. Could I get a, a room number, please? I was at 215. What was that, sir? It was 215. Where you put us over here after the first one. Got Could, I know. Could I have the well. first, the full room number, sir, please? Uh, 2125. Two, 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 I'm dyslexic, so I have a real big problem with that. My my uh, my companion was handling it, but he's out. He's been drinking. He's out at the bar. And the Is it under Kurt? Yeah. Okay, I'll call facilities and I'll let them know that there's an owl in your room. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, thank God. You're through to Edgewater Casino Resort, oh, Laughlin. Yeah. This is Emily speaking. How can I help you today? Front desk, front desk, front desk, front desk, front desk. Front desk? Let me transfer you to our front desk representative. Please hold the line. Where's, where's Dwight? I've got Hulk inside. Who, who wants to go? Thank you for calling. This is Dominic. Tell me I help you. Hi. Yeah. Hey, we had a little situation earlier out here. Uh, there was an owl, and there was, like, a crow fighting, and they were, like, t they were p taking something apart, and we alerted someone to it, but we came back, and now there's there's a whole lot more going on. There's a there's like a cat involved. It's it's hung, it's hung in. It's like trapped by the the crow, the talons. Um, where are you talking? I'm out here by the by the by the road. I was just I was I was really concerned because I don't I don't think it's, it's not supposed to be like this. Pink Fox Donuts. Do not miss it. Security, how can I help you? Hi, yeah, we're we're out here. Uh, it's happening again. What's happening again? Well, the crow and the uh, the, the the owl situation. Now there's a cat involved. They told me to call. Sir, uh, what? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not. Meow. The guy, he said, he said I had to call and let you know what was going on. Because last time I called, you guys said, oh no, no, it's not. It's not our. It's not in our purview, but it's on your property. So I figured, you know, you should probably know about it. Uh, where on the property? Is it right by the road. The yeah. By the what? It's, it's right by the road. Is that where you are, sir? Yeah, yeah. And what's over there? A bird? Yeah. Well, there's an owl and there's a, like a crow, and they were fighting over something earlier, and that's when I called the first time. They put me on hold, and I, I called back, but no one would, would would talk to me. So I called back now, and and now there's something else going on. There's a cat, and it, it's it's eating one of the birds, and the other birds eating the other bird. I don't know. And there's kids around. Won't someone right. think of the children? Meow. <laughs> All right, sir, we'll take care of it. <laughs> What I can hear. Thank you for calling off Lamar Village and Hoover Dam Lodge. Taylor, how can I help you? Can you can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Do I sound ugly? Security podium, Paul speaking. Hey, Paul. Um, I called right now the front desk, and <clears throat> I had a question for uh -huh. a gay guy. And the girl's like, oh, I know a gay guy. I know a gay guy. I'll transfer transfer you to him right now. What? <laughs> All right. Hold on, hold on a sec. <laughs> um, say this again. Re re repeat this again. So... Uh, I have a question, and in particular, uh -huh. I wanted to speak to a gay man. And the, 
the, the lady that I was talking to, I don't know who she was, uh, she's uh-huh. like, oh, I know exactly who I'll, I can t- have you talk to. And she laughed, and she transferred me to you. Okay. Um, uh, so you need... What, what, what's, what's this in regards to? Well, it's just I want to go there, and I was wondering if people get treated any different or if we get special treatment. No, 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 no. No, not at all. Um, no, no, no. That doesn't matter uh, whether if, uh, a man or a woman is gay or not or whatever your preference is. No, not at all. Um, okay, cool. Treat every... The last treat every, like, get out of here, huh. every day. They said, they said, get out of here, you gay lord fuckers, and Damn. Yeah, my boyfriend ran. Um, no, we, do, we, don't, we don't treat no one like that. No, not here. But uh, no, no, you guys are welcome. Yeah, come on down. Come on in. Yeah, come on awesome. Down. Can you, can you uh, relay the message to my boyfriend, Elasma? Here, I'll put him on the phone. Uh, hello? You have a message for me? Uh, who who is this? I, I, uh, my name's El Asmo. How are you doing? I'm I'm doing good. So you're on your way down. You're coming down to our establishment. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come yeah. down there, and we're gonna go on down to the uh, the sights and sounds that the town has to offer. Mhm. Hmm. Okay. I'll see you when you get here. I sure you will. Control copies. We have a, we have a lady here too. Her name is Pappy. Hi. Uh, what was her? What was her name? Little lady. Uh, my name is Pappy. Mm-hmm. Pappy Snape. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Go ahead, twelve. I have two vehicles for you. Who is that? Copy that. Stand by. Okay, I'll see you when you guys get down here. I gotta go. Okay. Thanks for calling Harris Laughlin. This is Erica. How may I assist you? Hello, this is Erica. Hello? Hello, this is Harry. Hey, Sierra. My name is Mimi. I'm help. Hey, hi. I'm coming through, and I have some questions about your toilet. About what, ma'am? Sorry, the line's kind of static. Like, you know what's like the flush for? The toilet. The the toilets. Toilets in the bathroom. Okay. So, ma'am, since this is regarding with the toilet in the bathroom... I need to know about the, f- the flush for. Okay, ma'am, I'll be happy to connect you directly to the front desk. They're going to provide uh-huh. you the assistance for the flush of the toilet. Have a great day. Hello, thank you for calling our front desk. This is Richard. How can I help you? Richard, Hello? how are you doing? I'm good. Hello, Richard. I'm sorry that we've got a bit of a delay on the phone, don't we? I'm I'm calling from a little bit behind you. Okay. Who am I speaking with? Any anywho, uh this is Big Pam. You can call me or or Mimi, whichever. I go by either or. Anyway, I got some questions. Oh. I got some questions about your toilets. Okay. What's the, what questions do you have? Yeah, I need to know the like I need to know the general flush force. I have no idea. I, I don't know anyone that would have that information that's here to, that here that's oh. here at this time in the evening. It would be more of a facilities question than it would be a uh, hotel. 
Ah, okay. All right. That so you're like not familiar with the toilets yourself? Like you wouldn't be able to I am tell not, me. And I am the director of the like hotel. On, from a, based on a, a, experience. A, yeah, no one, no one on the, on, no one in the this, on this team would have that information. I just need to know because it's like I typically I give my baby baths in the toilet. And like I use the flush, like the flush, like to give oh, like the big naked flash and you. the baby. Hello, thank you for calling Bad Ends. Okay. Hey, 29 Palm Highway. Can I have your first and last name? Hello. My first and last name. Yes. My yeah, Bappy. Last name is. Snap. Can you please spell the alpha I mean? B A P P Y S N A P S. Okay. Exactly. And will this be for pickup, curbside, or delivery? Excuse me. Pick, uh, can I try pick for today? Pick up order. Okay. How may we serve you for today? What can I get you? Oh, full. Forget it. Um, I was hoping that we could do a curbside um, delivery for my baby. Is it a curbside or a delivery order? Uh, those curbside are two different delivery. Uh, order type. But curbside, I come to the curb and you deliver my baby. Oh. Correct. Oh, uh, it seems like you're still not ready to place an order yet. Thank you for calling, Devens. Have a great one. I Bye-bye. am ready to place. Welcome uh, are to you the voice AI? Survey. Are you an wait? On a scale please. of one to five, with five being the highest, how satisfied were you bad, with your ordering experience bad today? You. Minus ten. Sorry, I, I hung, didn't catch that. I was hung upon. On a upon. scale of one to five, with five being the highest, how satisfied were you with your ordering experience today? Nine. Please, uh, Oh. <laughs> is this what hell is? It's a noise. Hello? 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 Hi, yes, we're calling. Uh, we have the 9 volt battery. This is 9 volt battery man and his assistant. It's called tonight. It's a litmus test. Fairfield and Sweets, but... Hi, yeah, the fire, the, fu- the fire alarm's chirping, and we don't know what happened. Are you in one of the rooms? Well, it was going a second ago, but it stopped. Like, as soon as we, you know, as soon as the phone, you know, answered, it stopped. I don't know what um, it, what's going on. It, it's saying some weird... Oh, there it goes again. Now it's it's saying it again. The vapor, I don't know. Ma'am, the the fire what alarm is saying some overtly racist shit. Vapor. The fire alarm keeps using. Good evening, Holiday Inn Express, 29 Palms. Timothy speaking. How can I help you? T- Timothy, Timothy, you, you, I'm tired of it. It's the end of it. You better tell me I'm a good person or I'm going to flush myself down the toilet. Hey, this is a company. Please stop talking like that. Shut up. <laughs> Good evening, Holiday Inn Express, 29 Palms. Timothy speaking. How can I help you? I flushed a drone down the toilet, and it keeps seeing everybody's butthole. Hey, you have your caller ID on, by the way. I do not. That's a lie. I can't afford caller IDs. <laughs> no. Go call somewhere else, bud. Go call your mother. Tell her you love her. Go call somewhere else. No, you. We are on the do you, not call list. We are a company, so you I cannot signed you up. I signed you up for the call me all the motherfucking time list is what I did. Good evening, Holiday Inn Express, 29 Palms. Timothy speaking. How can I help you? Hello, Timothy? Would you like to make a reservation? Yeah, uh, well, I, I was trying to put my phone number on a do not call list. How are you guys calling me? 
Oh, tell Nevada, how can I help you? Hi, yeah, uh, we're, we've got a force field around us in here. Like, I can't, I what? can't get out of the bath. Uh, when I try and open the door, there's like magnetism uh-huh. holding it shut. And I can't push and where's it. where's that forward. at? I'm in the bathroom here, in the lobby. I'm having a real the, hard the door time doesn't, pushing it. The yeah, door doesn't push, push open. It's a pull. It's a pull. Outlandish things are funny. Hello? Hotel Nevada. Hi, yeah, we got an outlandish thing happening in the room here, and we thought maybe you knew something about it. When we walked in, uh, well, my foot got stuck in the floor. And it's well, not a while it, ago like, you said you were stuck in the bathroom. Yeah, and this is on top of it. And Okay, but that was two seconds ago you were in the bathroom, and now you're in your room. Yeah, why is that That's weird? outlandish. I mean... Hello? Hello, can you hear me? A little bit, yeah. I'm staying in one of your rooms. I had to report a problem. Okay, what room are you in? Well, I'm in I'm in my room and I'm opening the bathroom, you see, I you understand. And in there I see is like a whole what you say I'm not sure the English word is maybe like event horizon or something. You know what I'm saying? It's what like, room, sir, sir, what room are you like in? There's a big hole and there's people in there. What room are you in, sir? I'm in the, the bathroom. Please. What? what I don't know the word. I'm from Germany. I'm trying to help the people. They're like suspended in the air or something. Is that the words? I'm not sure. Are these the words? Sir, what room are, what's your room number? I'm like 213 or something. I'm not sure what the... I don't know the English letters or the numbers, excuse me. What room number are you in? Are you at the Rustic Inn Motel? I am, yes. I've called you. I've looked up the hotel I'm staying. I have the phone number here, and so I've called. Okay, sir, I'm outside. So what room are you in? That's what I'm asking you. So I can come to... (laughs) the bathroom. I'm in the room where <laughs> if you come to the second floor, I know it's on oh, the right floor. Oh, you're calling the wrong hotel, sir. I don't have a second floor. <laughs> you hey. didn't when I got here, but you do now. <laughs> hey, what? You don't me. understand. The people in the room and the room continue to expand. No one doesn't understand what I said. Come out of the bathroom, man. What? They are talking, you see. They were, not, they were like unconscious a moment ago, but they are, here they are. I can see you I in the bathroom, have... man. I want to give you a taco. <laughs> Hot Tones Best Inn, how may I help you? Hey, motherfucker, you. I need to get out and talk to somebody who can help me in my room. What room? I'm in the what big room, ass room cocksucker? upstairs. Excuse you're talking, me? You're talking to the wrong person. I'm talking to a bando is who I'm talking to, motherfucker, you. Fuck you. Huh? Hello? Keep going. Come on. I can do this all night. He's being a jerk. So, who is it? You're a guy in modern chode. What are you about to Who's that? What? Good old Coot Vecha, modern show to Lundalimaru. Do you speak English? Terry Makasarike. Who is that? Who the fuck is this? You're his boyfriend, come to save him? Uh, no, but uh, it looks Here's like you... Here's boyfriend you from like... Captain Save a You got your cape on and everything. Why don't you fucking hang up the phone and get back to work, motherfucker, you? Oh, yeah, no problem. We'll do that. Yeah. 
Do you like gays? Do you want to hang up and get back to work? Why? You hang up and I'll get back to work. Oh, you're one of those sophisticated motherfuckers, huh? Oh, is that what they call them? Do you need some etiquette there? I got a motherfucker here that's sophisticated, too. Oh, yeah? That's good. Maybe I should talk to that person. His name is Nautilus. His name is who? Hello there, sir. Yeah, he Wait, should uh, learn to speak you're English. A you're a fucking banjo. Can do motherfucker banjo you. Yeah, yeah, I talk like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a yank. Yeah, okay, great. We so this is what you too. We can fucking fuck with you all yeah, night if I we want to, you motherfucker. Banjo. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Bonkrut. Shit! You puta, sala puta! Gandu, sala, mother toad, you fucking. Bulu, kapata. Puta, 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 si. Que culo a popusta, que se. Hey, kaite los tiros, chinga su madre. Tienes el vale. Yeah, puta. Piece of shit. Estúpido mendigo baboso. Perro chinga su madre. Thank you for calling Yarrington in. We are currently on the other line. Please leave a message and we'll return your call. Thank you. We're meeting nice. It's really good. Alasma. Oh, yeah. Here, I'm going to feed you some ice. Open your mouth. Oh, I, I don't want any. No, I don't. Oh, oh. No, there you go. There you go. Eat it. Yeah. Oh, so good. Oh. Mm. You like that? Yeah. I love it. Call me a motherfucker. Call me a motherfucker while I'm doing it. Oh, fuck are you? Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. This is some really horny shit. Ask to feed them ice cream. Just do a gay no. southern accent. Huh? Nice. Yeah, I was wondering if I could come down there and feed you some ice cream. I got some real nice ice yeah. cream here. Oh, yeah. Hello? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got some nice ice cream here. I was wondering if you wanted some. Yeah. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, it's melting. I got too much. Hey, that's some good ice cream. You want some ice cream? I got ice cream. Thank you for calling Econo Lodge, Billings, Montana. How may I assist you today? Uh, hey, my friend Paul? got out of butt prison. He wants to see to you. Sorry, could you repeat that for me, please? Hello? 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 Yeah, hey, I got a rash the last time I was there. Uh, can you, like, do I talk to you about it or what? Uh, in terms of? Like on my back, we went. Um, it was with an employee. We went like uh, back to back. Like it wasn't like weird or anything. We just went like, uh, like you know, like without just skin contact back to back. And it, I got a rash now, and I was hoping to get it cleared up before. Like I'm gonna be in the area again, so I'm gonna. I, can I have you look at it? Uh, I'm not sure about that. Well, I mean, maybe like recognize it or you'd be familiar with it, because, I mean, I got it from, it was from an employee there. Yeah, I'm not sure who, who that would be, but I, I'm not sure. I wouldn't be familiar with any rashes. Could you just look at it, though? Maybe you could put it in, like, to an app or something, because I can't see it that well. It's on my back. Yeah, so I'm not sure about that. You may have to call the doctor about that. Uh, no, I have a doctor's appointment in a couple of weeks, and I really want it gone before then because I, like, I don't want it. I mean, if I went to them with this rash and everything, they're, I don't want them to think about that. Uh, okay. Hold on just a moment. I went to the... Hello? Hey, where are you going? 
<laughs> Thank you for your patience while holding. You can kill it if you want. If you don't want to wait, it's fine. The phone line kind of sucks. It's echoing. Ash. Oh, no. Hello? Thank you for calling the roadway. How can I help you? Uh, hello? How can I help you? Roadway, I didn't do anything wrong. Um, I, I just, I, I don't know how to take responsibility for this, and I, I, I'm going to keep fighting. I'll, I'm going to keep, oh, I'm not going to lie to you. I will not give up. You know, hello? C- can you hear me? Front desk. Yeah, front desk. I think we got disconnected. You're what? Can you hear me now? We got disconnected. Yeah. Yeah, so I was okay. telling you, I'm constantly at war with myself, right? I, I, you, you know what they say, right? Uh, like, you just, uh, you got to change yourself. You need a mindset shift. Right? Mm hmm. And the investors, I talk to investors. They're telling me. Hello? What are you talking about? Well, I talk to the investors. They, they're telling me I have to get this big cube to the fourth stage. So I'm going to have to do this at the hotel. Hey, what? And it's a lot of stress on me. The big cube, I got to get it to the fourth stage for the investors because they're, they're asking because they're going to pull out if I don't get that cube going. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I need like an outlet or something. I don't, yeah. That's legit. That's legit. Um, so what are you they, asking they for? Say, they say nobody's. Well, they they say nobody can save you but yourself. And that's what I'm doing. I'm saving myself. I'm going to I'm going to make this cube, okay? And I'm going to plug it in up there at the front desk. Where's where's your breaker Hi. box? Hi, sir. sir, this is Odell Brown. I'm one of the housekeepers here. How can we help you today? Okay. I I'm going to need to get in that breaker box for my big old cube. For the investors. Okay. Would you like to call back tomorrow when the manager's available? No, no. I got to plug in an outlet. The the investors, they're they're coming down on me, and uh, you got to just keep going, and you can't really let the stress get to you. You got to have a positive mindset. Sure. Oh, I what understand. I'm doing right now. Thank you for I'm the taking, advice. I'm, I'm taking a big a big leap forward here to try and contact you and get this cube going, get that. Get that oh wow, screen. that's wonderful. Well, is there any? Can we can we get you checked in for a room tonight at all? Uh, well, I'm in the room. I'm uh, trying to get this cube to be jumping up and down, and I just I don't get why you guys are giving me the the, the cold shoulder. And oh no 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 need to feel that way, sir. I, I was just made aware that you needed uh, some assistance. So could you just let me know which room you're in today? How do I figure that out? Okay, so if you step outside your door without locking yourself out, there should be a name tag right above the door, either to the left or the right. We'll indicate the room One number. One second. Oh, dude, wh- what the fuck? You just locked me out of my room. I just, I, I, don't, I don't have my key. You should have fucking told me. No. No, that's exactly what I stated dude, without locking oh, yourself out. What the fuck? You're Odell Brown? What was your name? And what room did you say you were in? Are you, are you Odell Brown? No, we got to figure this out. You just locked me out of my room, dude. No, I'm not able to that lock you out of your room. There. Just by I specified prior to yeah, exiting just, in to check on the, uh, the number that is uh, by the door, that you make sure you not lock yourself well, you, out. But no problem. We can come up and assist you with getting back in. You we will literally just need to have you your name and gonna lock last me out of name my room. on Nope, that's not what I said at all. So I apologize if you've misheard what I said. This call is recorded for quality assurance. This call is recorded for quality assurance. 
and training. Uh, that I'm not sure of, so unless you're recording it, I'm not aware. No, it is. I'm recording. recording on my end. Yes, on my end. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, a, sure. Uh, no worries. Professional and could company you just let phone, me know what room guy. number you're in? Okay. You're, you're talking over me. That's not very professional behavior. You're, ta- you're starting to talk and get – and uh, like use your uh, big, big, big man voice on me, and I don't, I don't know. You're why locked are you out of your room. This? Would you like to why help you, you get into this? your room? Why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? I don't... Why are, uh, why are you doing uh, I don't... You got my partner. My partner is... Oh. Uh, uh, I'm feeling woozy. I need to sit down. Would you like me to call a paramedic, sir? No, 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 no. Hold on. I have to take my medication. Hold on. I have, I have to get... I got to... Hold, hold on. Talk, talk, talk to my partner. Talk to my partner. Hello? Hi. Good evening. This is Odell. I'm at the front desk here at the roadway, and <laughs> we received this call from your partner stating that he oh. needed some assistance with <laughs> the we were just trying to gain an understanding of what that might have been, particularly. That's, that's um, my grandson. That's my Pardon? grandson. He's off his meds. Oh, okay. So everything is okay? You do not need a paramedic? No, we don't need a goddamn paramedic. I need a goddamn pair of shoes so I can kick this little boy's ass. Oh, no worries. No, don't. No, calm down, sir. You're okay. As long as everything is all right, everyone is safe and uh, healthy, then no worries. No need to be upset. We're here for you. He's, I'm gonna he's a good a boy, ball. usually. He just forgot to take his meds today, that goddamn it. Okay. All right. Well, unless you need the uh, emergency or something, you can dial 911, and it will call out directly. Otherwise, we're here at the front desk should you need to get a hold of us. All right. Is there anything else you need from us here at the front desk at the roadway Inn? If you hear someone, if you hear someone getting their ass kicked, just ignore it because this kid's about to get his ass kicked so hard he's going to wear it as a hat. No, that's okay. No need to worry. As long as everything is okay, then let's just keep everyone calm. I'm going to kick oh, his ass God. so hard he'll be able to tie his shoe when he clears his throat. Okay, well, I apologize that is the case. Uh, so if, unless you need something else from me, then you have a wonderful evening and give us a call if you need to at the front desk. Uh, you too. All right. God nice damn it. Up. Hello, this is Montana Trailhead in. This is Mary speaking. How can I help you? Mary. Um, Hello? Hey, Mary, this is Lou Sassel, and I'm here with Elasmo. Um, we were wondering if you could bring a towel to the, to the room. Um, what room are you in? Oh, boy. I shouldn't have taken that out. I don't know it. which room it is. Elasmo has it under his name. I, here, I'll, I'll let you talk to his dumbass. Okay. Hello? Hello? Hi. How can I help um, you? I was told that you guys needed a towel brought up to the room. Well, yeah, if I... If he not tell you about everything else. Fuck me! Fuck me! When we got up here, he started screaming that at me. Um, who is this? Oh, this is El Fuck me! Fuck me! I don't want to do that, ma'am. I'm Fuck me now. Hurry up. Do it. Do it quick. No. Hurry. I'm from the service. I take care of him. What room are you guys in? Well, he said he got something from the front desk. They gave him some sort of pill or something. Was that you? I'm going to come. Now, he's never acted like... Thank you for calling the Dude Rancher Lodge. How can I help you? Hello. Hello. Um, I have some questions regarding. Oh yes, it's yes, it's me. 
How are you? Good. Just sign the bottom for me there, please. And then, oh, not too sorry, I'm helping a guest. Uh, and yeah, your bike info. Uh, what was your question? Oh. Yes, regarding nudity. I know that okay. it can be permitted in like you know private areas, but it's like as far as you know, like the general being like okay and like the yes and on the like what the strict law. Just like if I'm wearing like a little negligee, negligee. So you're calling a hotel downtown. Correct. So yeah, you have to wear clothes. Yeah, you. Yeah, no. No, you cannot wear lingerie in the lobby. No clothes. No, you cannot go nude in the lobby either. So. Does that answer well, your not question? Like total nude, but I'll have. Well, not total nude, but I'll have like you know my nipples obscured and like the pubis. Yeah, no. The nope. pubis blocked. Not allowed. But, nope, but like, but it's like basically it's as long as long as like you know I'm obscuring the part. Like you know what? I'm gonna, gonna have to I'm gonna have to put you on hold for a second hold. because I'm checking in a guest. So hang on. Oh. Are they naked? Nude, I mean. Can you fuck me, please? Yeah. Battery low. I'm gonna bend over now, so please just do it. Do it now. I wanted to. I wanted to mention my pubis a third time. I hope they come back. I just could not help overhearing. Maybe someone here needed fucked. We're in a kitchen now. Yes, I. I ordered one fucking. Woof, yes, I was here. I had the sock on the north, and I noticed your door was cracked open. It's my custom from Germany to come in and see what you are doing, and I hear you are wanting fucked. I guess I go fuck you now. Yes, do it. Please. Okay, I put I need it. My I penis need out. It. That's a nice Hello? Oh, yeah. Thank you for calling the booth, Lynn. This is Corinne. How can I help you? I'm getting fucked. Oh. He's fucking oh. me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I made a big ass piece of steak today, and I was thinking... Jason, what can I do for you, man? Time. How would you rate Hello. the prank call you just received? Good evening. Thank you for calling the Hampton Inn and Sweet and Billings. Tanea, how may I help you? The last call you received was a prank. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your prank call? No. Yes. Or maybe I'm not. We find a different area while we're calling this one. Best Western Plus, Coning Suites, Billings, Montana. This is Rob. How can I help you? Hello? Hey, Big Fat Rob, how are you doing today? Best Western Plus, Kellyanne Suites, Billings, Montana. This is Rob. How can I help you? Hey, what's up, fool? Little Rob work here or what? This little Rob? Mike, I was just Thank you existential for crisis in my room. And... Rose, how can I help you? Hello? Hey, yeah, I had a room here. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? Can well, you hear me? I was just sitting up in my room. Yeah, yeah, I hear you great. I was up in my room and I was just kind of like, I don't know. How, I mean, you ever just sit in a room, in a dark room, and just kind of start reflecting? I just kind of needed to talk, I guess. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah you well, do that sure. sometimes. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, don't I know. Never you just sometimes you, with that. You know, you just, sometimes you just maybe you're alone and you're bored and your mind kind of wanders and you're just like maybe you have some realizations or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? <sighs> Oh, you know, just like, I don't know, man. You ever just like, I don't know, like sometimes, you know, it's like before you were born, you didn't exist. Maybe. And after you, you know, maybe. one day you're going to die. Well, Looks maybe, like, I guess. Some, hold on one moment. Wait, one, I don't, I, that's scary. I don't know. What if I'm not okay. here in a moment? Um, I'll, hold on one moment. Leave me on the line. You talk to them. You just leave me on the line. Um. So our jacuzzi it doesn't have bubbles in it because we had a power bump. But outside of that, yes. Oh gosh. Just breathe. Just breathe, man. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Hello? I was hoping to be something mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. Hello? Hi, are you using a substance? No, no, I'm just like, I'm just up here by my, I just don't spend that many time, that many nights alone in a hotel, you know? Yeah. It's new for me. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. It's just kind of getting existential, I guess, if you know what I mean. Because I'm just like, man, I'm I'm almost, you know, I'm in my mid-30s now. I'm kind of half halfway to the grave, man. And what have I done, you know? Just fuck. <sighs> yeah. Do you ever feel like that? Yeah. Sometimes. What, are you, what do you do when you feel like that, man? Uh, Write my stuff, my thoughts and ideas down. Yeah. What do you write? Yeah. Just what my thoughts are. Yeah, like Dear Diary, thinking about yeah. death and not having accomplishments. Um, let's see, what room are you in? I'm sorry. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I I don't remember. I have you know, I've just been my mind's so full of stuff, it's kinda of race and I just I haven't even I'm sorry. What's, do you need a um, just, I just needed to talk, you know, or you can come up and yeah. talk if you want. Well, I, I don't think I if can If you're talk writing in your diary, you probably time. have, you probably need to talk too. Uh, yeah. You know? Hold on, I gotta help a guest, okay? I'm a guest and I'm, I'm, okay, all right, all right, all right, I'm, I'm sorry. Me. I'll be charitable. Um, are you, uh... Are you thinking of committed suicide or anything like that? No, no, God, no. Okay, but I'm good. just like, ex- I'm just, a f- I'm just, I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm just like, you ever, yeah. this is the first time I'm experiencing like anxiety. I'm by myself for the first time really for a long time, and I'm just like, yeah, Whoa. what's going on in your life? One, one day it's gonna, one day it's looming over though. One day it's gonna happen. But like, what am I gonna do? Like, what am I gonna do in the meantime? You know, like, yeah, that's a yeah. big question. Do you ever think about that? I do, yeah. Do you ever yeah. come to, like, any solutions? Um, I just think that, you know, it's just one day at a time, one step at a time, and and that's that's that. I mean, you got to focus on the now, you know? Yeah. Right now, it's like, you know, I guess I still got halfway to go, you know? Yeah, you do. Oh shit. Yeah, and so your story is not over. Battery low. Oh no, sorry, hang on. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, one hear, moment. Some my saying battery low in here. Hang on, hang on. Battery okay. low. Oh, hang on, that's my flashlight. Hold on. Battery low. Oh, fuck, come yeah. on. Yeah, Joe Rogan right. sold me this fucking thing. Battery low. I have another guest calling me, so one moment, okay? Uh, yeah, I, uh, it's fine. i got to turn off my flashlight. Okay. Battery low. Dude. Oh, 
man. Yeah. Battery low. Battery low. Battery low. The amount that we are charging is one third. Battery low. Um, let's see. No, sorry. The total stake Oh, stupid fucking Joe Rogan flashlight. Battery low. Ah, oh, fucking. No. Oh man. Oh no, wait, that's good. That's good. I've never played the casino games before. Battery yeah. low. Yeah, can I place you on a hold, please? Okay, one moment. Battery low. <sighs> it's okay. Just oh, breathe. I'm just gonna breathe. Battery low. Gonna live this moment. <laughs> Battery low. Battery low. Hi, you still there? <laughs> Hello. Battery Hi. low. What's going on? Hey, sorry. My my phone's dying. I just wanted Battery to say low. I just really appreciate you talking to me. If you need to come down and charge your phone. I, may, I might take you. I don't know. I don't want to bother you. I might take you up on it, but I don't want to bother okay? you. Okay. And I'm on the um, okay. uh, hold with the other one, so come on down, okay? All right. And then maybe, okay. you know, if you want to go out for a date sometime or something. I don't know about that. I'm married, but <laughs> I'll talk to you. Well, well yeah. right now, to be honest with you, that's the first thing from my mind. Okay, yeah. Come on down, okay? Oh, okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Bye, I love you. Good evening. Thank you for calling your Felicia, how can I help you? Yes, talk to my brother, please. I, I got to get off the line. Okay. Hi, I have a boner. Okay. What do I do? Call somebody else. Why? I, I mean, you're on the phone already. No, that's not how this works. Don't call here and make prank calls. Well, Bye. I don't know you. I don't that's know not you. The point. And you don't know no, me. We no. could like talk. No, no. That's I'm at work. Better. That's not how this works. No, no. Goodbye. No. But come, seriously, come on. Come on. <laughs> Sir Press Resort. This is Janine. How can I help you? Hi, uh, yeah, I got a piece of wood here, and it's stuck on me. I'm sorry, really, who is this? Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guest here. Uh, I've been drinking. Uh, there's a piece of wood, and it's stuck on me. It's stuck on you. Yeah, it's hard. Well, do you guys, do you have anyone there with you? Yeah, I got a bunch of people here, but they told me to call you about my hard wood. Tell it, tell it, tell it about the wood. I got hard wood. Tell her to get it off. Get it off you. Hello? Hello? I'm definitely going to use that font, and I'm going to write it exactly like that on oh. my arm. Uh, p to the Resort, may I help you? Uh, hi, yeah, hi. ma'am, hi. Hi, uh, did you hear earlier about the mirror? Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, the mirror. We we opened a portal earlier into the mirror universe. When I called earlier, they told me I had stepped through. I went through the portal. And now I'm, and now I'm backwards. Like, my, my right hand is now my left hand, and my left hand is my right hand. And when, uh-huh. I, when I look... Yeah, hi. Are you there? Yeah. Uh, are oh. you the Are you the guest of the B2? Yeah. yeah. Okay. May I, may I have your name? Oh yeah, it's a uh, doctor. Doctor. 
呃 ，Pussy P O O S E Y。Okay,、uh, how can I help you? Oh, I、uh, yeah, I opened the portal. I went through. I was doing alchemy in my room. Uh huh. And there was a spirit, and he came when I was sleeping. I woke up, and there was a man at the end of my bed, but he, I could see through him. And he said, "Oh, you gotta, you know, you gotta do all the alchemist work, for, and then I'll, I'll come to you next week, and we'll, we'll make, we'll have,、uh, we'll have dinner at Waffle House." I'm sorry, I cannot understand. Well, he came out of, he came in and out of my urethra. Okay. Hey man, What? It's、uh, me, the alchemist yeah, yeah. man. Here, yeah, here, talk、you. to the alchemist. Talk to him. He he knows more. He's、okay. conducting <laughs> experiments on my man part. Okay. Hi, it's it's me, the alchemist. I I'm doing the stuff with the alchemy. Alchemy? Alchemy is a.、Uh, alchemy is a.、Uh, alchemy is the thing where you put you put it in a circle on the ground. And you kind of like、um, it's the law of equivalent exchange, where something cannot come from nothing, you know, and something of equal value must be given or lost in order to obtain something else or something like that. I guess、um, for every action, there's a positive or negative equal reaction. So everything that goes around comes around, you know. Ah,、uh, I'm so sorry. You're the guest. And then it is totally out of the my understanding. So,、uh, oh, come on, did you come on, did、man. you reserve the room? We are in the room, and the, the guy he bring the thing on the mirror, and I coming out, and I say,、Bleh. mirror. I cannot understand yes, what he talking about. Yes, he come in the mirror,、about. and I come, and I go, Bleh. what? <laughs> okay, sorry. Probably you got the wrong number. I go blah blah blah, and he goes, "Oh, hmm, Jesus." Excuse me. Jesus Christus.、Uh, probably you got the wrong number. Sorry. You、no. can text me. No, we need you. No, we need you. My God. I love AI having to. Thank you for calling Los Angeles here in Los Angeles. My name is Maria. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Hi,、uh, my name is、uh, Shlomo.、Um, I am trying to get connected to Peter Hamptonson's room. Okay, one moment. He's got like he's got like brown hair. He's a little larger than life. Listen, if you met him, you'd know him. He like. He walks around and like money is no object. Like, has anyone on staff been like, yeah, this guy just gave me a three hundred dollar tip for like no reason in the last couple days? Because like he's that much of a high roller, but like you know, not that much of a high roller where he's like too good for the common man. Like you know, he'll still pay for dinner and not like ask you to like cash app him and stuff. You know, he's, he's a solid dude. Okay, I understand. Yeah, I mean, like, I know, I'm sure you see all kinds of types out there, and that's a golden nugget. I mean, especially off the strip. I mean, I, I don't know. Did you ever work on the strip? Because I feel like I feel like off strip has like way more interesting people. Like you know, like the the hardcore, like Vegas, you know, old timers, the ones that like went to、um, you know the Stardust and Rio. Which is still open, I think. Is it? The Rio's still open, right? Penn and Teller is still doing that thing with their their magic. <laughs>、um, and for Mr. Peter, and、uh, what's the last name? Uh, uh, Peter Johnsonson. He he let he he slid a note into my pocket. I was talking to him at the bar. And he was like, "Hey, I'm buying drinks for the whole bar. We were at the chandelier bar, like on the strip. You know, the one with the chandelier." And he's like, "I'm buying drinks for everyone."、Right. And then he like came over and gave me a hug, and he like slid. He's like, "I'm at this hotel. Just ask for me, Peter Johnsonson." 
And I'm like, oh, shit, all right, cool. Well, he seems like fun people. I'm not saying I'm going to put out or anything. Look, look, like, he's just good company, and especially he's throwing around cash, like, you know, whatever. It's like, I, you know, I went to one of those, like, live shows where it had the burlesque things, and it's like, you know, it's cute and all, and I'm sure that, like, other things could happen. But, like, honestly, it's it's just, I don't know, like, I'm sure that there's all kinds of debauchery I could get into in Las Vegas tonight, but he seems like the guy that would, like, kick you out and be like, yeah, we're going to get a stretch limo to go, like, three blocks down because I have crypto money. <laughs> right, I understand. Um, I don't have Mr. Yeah, Peter yeah. in-house. Hey, it's Peter Johnsonson. Right, I don't. He I might don't have been going him. by, he, like, he also was like shouting his name. He's like, "My name is Big Dick Rick." Like, ha ha ha. Like, yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, penis, 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 penis. <laughs> Guest service is a channel. Hi, yeah. Um, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't know who to like lodge a complaint to, but there was an incident that happened, and I just, I don't know. I need to like tell somebody about it. Um, it, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm in one of your rooms, and I was, I was hanging out at the Mexican restaurant, and Carrot Top was there you know carrot top the red hair he like came up and and was like being all funny and like oh, i'm carrot top and prop, prop comic hey look i'll buy you drinks and stuff i was like cool i've seen your comedy like 20 30 years ago like i i know you i guess and he just started like unpacking a whole bunch of stuff about his life and stuff and i was like tearing him out it was a little uncomfortable but then like he he just like leaned in and whispered in my ear, it's like, Come come to my room after my show and then he licked like the side of my ear. And I I, I was feeling a little uncomfortable. Like normally I'm pretty okay with you know, all kinds of weird deviant stuff. Hey, it's Vegas. You know, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but herpes. <laughs> uh, but like I was a little uncomfortable, like and he didn't look like how I remember him looking. Like, I don't know if he's had any work done or anything, but I, I don't know who I should, like, complain to about it because Carrot Top was just, like, he was a little Yeah, handy. that doesn't even have and a room here, but hold on one. Let me get somebody to help you, sir. Nightly, right here at... Okay. Okay, maybe I'll go back. Secure this guy's Rosie. I can help you. I'm sorry, uh, who did I connect to? I'm sorry, is somebody transferred me? Yeah, this is Luxor Security, how can I help you? Oh, Luxor Security. Okay, well, I had a little interaction uh, with one of your performers, Carrot Top, a little while ago at the Mexican restaurants, and I feel a little uncomfortable. I think he might be a little drunk or, like, a little out of hand. Um, he was, like, schmoozing around, being like, hey, hey, I'm Carrot Top, I'm a prop comic, and all that. And, like, he and I started talking, and he was, he, like, I don't know, he wasn't in the greatest place. Like, he just kind of needed an ear to listen to. And so he told me, like, a lot of personal stuff, right? And then he, mm -hmm. like, leans in, and he's like, I've got a room. You should meet me in it. And then he licked, like, the side of my ear. And, like, uh, it made me a little uncomfortable. But, I mean, he's carrot top. Like, you know. Right. I mean... When did this happen? to put out a carrot top, right? I mean, this was like this was like an hour and a half ago. I've been I went up to my room, and I took my leftovers from the Mexican restaurant, and then realized there's no fridge in my room, you know. <laughs> Which is, and then I just like ate it in silence and watched the Fish, Fish Channel, and like, and then I was like, hey, I gotta tell somebody because if carrot top is like. I don't know, on a bender or something, like, somebody's got to know. I mean, I don't know. It's just, like, responsible, you know, citizenship. Right. You know? Okay. How long yeah. Long? Right? Like, I mean, like, it's, it's not the end of the world. Like, maybe he's just had a rough day. Like, I don't know, maybe 
Maybe he's done too much blow or something. Oh, or oh. I don't know. I, I can't imagine that. I mean, usually that's... I don't know, but he was just all like, hey, look at my prop comics. Uh, here's a prop joke. Like, oh, oh, look at this. Here's an albatross around my neck. Uh -huh. And then he's like, uh, you don't get it, because that's a Ram the Ancient Mariner reference. Uh -huh. So, it, I don't know, man. Okay. But when he uh, my ear, I was like, I was like, hey, uh, I don't know. You might be crossing a little bit of a line here, Carrot Top. I mean, but, like, not going to lie, like, when he was, like, come to my room, not gonna lie, like I'm sure there would have been enough blow <laughs> for everyone, and it would have been a party started. And honestly, it's carrot top. I mean, you pretty much have to put out as a carrot top, right? Like, I mean, it's not like you haven't imagined if like the carpet matches the drapes, right? I mean, uh, just curious, man. Right? Uh, what's your name? What's your name, buddy? Uh, my name's uh, oh. Peter. Peter. Last name? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Boykick. Uh, it's uh, the last name is spelled B-O-Y-C-O-C-K. Boykick. Mm. Yeah. All right. And I'm staying with my sister. I'm staying with my sister in her room. But it, regardless, in the, like, in the, listen, in the Luxor, staying at the Bellagio. Yeah, I'm staying with her at the Luxor. But even if I were at the Bellagio or like MG, like fucking Aria. It wouldn't matter because Eric so you, so you, tried to lick so the ear, and he's all like, "Hey, let's uh, let's take it to Pound Town." He didn't actually say that, but it was implicit. He's like, "Yeah, look, I'm gonna put this red mushroom inside of your." I mean, I, he didn't say that either, but I mean, like when he licked my ear, it was like slow and sensual. And, wow, and this man, didn't happen. Like, you I'm said, still trying you, to unpack it. And Peter, this didn't happen in the theater. This happened outside the theater. Yeah, this is at the Mexican restaurant. I can't remember what it's Diablos? called. It's right across from... Yeah, Diablos, yeah. And, like, oh, by the way, they're, like, fucking enchiladas there. Goddamn heavenly. Like, I've been to Vegas a couple times, and I cannot recommend them enough. Like, and, yeah. But regardless, it was just really uncomfortable, dude. I don't know. Like, can you, like, just give him a note? Like, say, like, hey, don't be so, like, handsy next time. Like, if you like someone, be a little bit more polite and try not to like put it down so hard like you know pro tips i wouldn't be constructive with it i don't want anyone to be sketched out but like carrot top like i mean he threw the mac down and honestly i'd be a liar if i said i wasn't tempted just curious what what time did this happen it's just like do i an hour and a half ago or so i don't know Please. man i've been drinking a lot since i got to vegas i smoked some marijuana off property of course because you can't you can't smoke in in the hotel or like on the ground. So like, look, I'm a law abiding citizen, but I'm a little twisted. But I didn't imagine that. Like, look, I've got like a ten strip of acid that I'm saving for tomorrow night. Not tonight. <laughs> I'm just saying, look, I'm being honest. Like, I'm not fucked up, but Caratop literally tried to like proposition me. And I was like I was like, you know, you know, I'm not going to lie, Carrot Top, like, this is all internal monologue. I wouldn't actually, like, say this out loud, but, like, look, I'm not gay, but, like, I mean, you're Carrot Top. You know, you're kind of a big deal. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, uh, all right, so this is what I'm going to do, Pete. I'm going to go ahead and hand this over to my management team, and we will have a security yeah, officer say, like, uh, call you up. I mean, it's not like, uh, it's not like the end of the world. Like, I'm not trying to make a big stink of it. I'm just saying, like, just say, like, for next time, Carrot Top, like, you, you don't have to be so larger than life. Like, you're a person just like us. Like, we get it. Like, if you're attracted to people, that's cool. But, like, don't, like, I mean, look, look. I mean, look, I don't want to, like, make them uncomfortable or anything. Like, I was a little uncomfortable at the time. But, like, honestly, I feel a little weird by calling about this right now, like, I don't want to ruin his career or anything, like, it's just, I don't know, I mean, he did buy me a drink, so, I mean, I pretty much had to put out, like, I think kind of owed him. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's, so like that's I said, what happens when somebody buys you a drink, right? Like, you have to put out, right? Because it's a transaction. So, anyway, like I said, I was, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and forward this like, to my management like, team. That's, that's and how that works. Yeah, because that's how that works, is, like, if somebody buys you a drink, you have to put out. 
Because all right, uh, again, one more time. Um, this, you know, is in no way like a disingenuous call or in any way like you know fake or anything like that. Like this is serious. Yeah, like honestly, like I'm as serious as a heart attack about this. But like honestly, Airtop, ever since he's got that work done, I mean, he's got an ass like that. And like honestly, I'd let him big spoon me platonically. You know, and Hello, thank you for calling the PBX operator. This is Kira speaking. Hey, how may I assist you? Hey, who's the guy that worked there? I'm not too sure who you're talking about for room reservations or for what a hotel. The hotel, it's because my friend Crispy, there's a guy there that fucked her, and she needs to get a hold of him, and he's been avoiding her. Okay, yeah, I can't help you with that. Is there anything else? Can you transfer me to the hotel? I think, I'm pretty sure he works there, and he won't talk to her, and I need to get a hold of him. He's got to pay no, child support. No, I'm not going to be able to transfer you. Why not? Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, transfer me to the hotel. Thanks. Do your job. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and release the line. Thank you. Have a great night. Such Hello. Thank you for fruits. calling the PBX operator. This is Kira speaking. How may I help you? Hello. I'm at the resort and the casino. First time from Germany. And this machine is like keep it making noise at me. I bump into it and then it go ding, 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 ding. I'm not sure you hear or not. No. Okay. And for what hotel? The resort and casino. You're not here. What I, hotel? I told the you before, D. You're not understanding. No, I understand you perfectly fine. Uh, circa There's the a, D or the Golden machine Gate. were going like the ding, the ding. So I had to go around the corner, but it was making noise. It like I bump into the machine. It's like the casino. Is there an area that and you would like me to transfer you to? Out because corners. Well, for what hotel? I, I'm sorry, my my friend, yeah. my friend is a little drunk at the moment. Um, uh, it's okay, she's yeah. a PBX operator, yeah. Yes. Oh, my PBX is the uh, uh, how do you say archaic phone system? Is there anything yeah. that I can help you with? Need some German uh, engineering. Okay, I'm going to go PBX ahead and disconnect the call. Yeah, Thank I, you so much. Have a great I'm night. I'm craft work, craft. In, like the cool nerdy way and not like in the kinky BDSM I was on my like, knees begging for that sound effect tax yeah, fucking Thank you for calling the Lexi help me assist you hey what's up bro what's your name again Jesus <laughs> Jesus dude no fuck way my friend Christy yeah. said you fucked her dude and yeah. you haven't called her back damn that's wild <laughs> why not bro I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, you need to fucking call her back. Think you could just fuck someone and stop talking to them? You fucking ghost them, fool? The fuck? Are you afraid of commitment or what, homie? Yeah. Bro, how do you know? Yeah. I guess my name is Shay. How can I help you? Hey, where's Jesus at? Um, are you with the are you the guest here or? No, he works there. His name is Jesus. My friend Bappy okay. needs to talk to him. What department is he in? Yeah. Um, excuse me? What yeah. department is he in? He, to- he told me his department was love. Was what? So basically, love. me and basically me and Bappy were staying there. She's my cousin. And he got off the, he got out of work and he came to our room and he fucked her and he never called her back. Okay, well, I don't know what department he's in, so. Fart department. Do you guys just. If it's okay, two people in the shower. It's a crooked stuff. How many men per room? Thank you for calling Hilton Garmications on Las Vegas Boulevard. My name is Jessica. How may I direct your call? 
Hey, Stressica, als zum What the fuck? Yes, Murphy. Yeah, we had a question. Uh, me and Bappy, we went to that scented candle store today um, because we know this hotel is haunted. And I uh, just had a question. Are we allowed to light them in the room? Um, let me connect you with security, sir. One moment. God damn it. Oh. Yay, escalation. Hell yeah. Spark Green Security. Yeah, I don't know why I got transferred to you. I bought a candle at a store that my girlfriend, Bap, took me to earlier. And we just want to know if we can light it in the room. That's all we want to know. We got transferred like four times. How long is this candle going to be lit up for? Bappy, how long is the ritual supposed to be where we, we light the candles and we drip the goat blood? It should take about 30 minutes. As long as the smoke detector doesn't go off, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to have a candle on. Um, Bappy is a, is Satanist, and for in order for us to have make love, she needs to light candles and we try to talk to the spirits in the hotel because it's haunted hotel so Bappy, who what do you do what what do you say when you're trying to resurrect the demons i go i i roll my eyes back and i let flick my tongue and i'm like and then and then we drip the candle wax on each other we burn each other with the hot candle wax i pour it down her butt rack she pours it right on my ball what room are you guys staying in Um, Bappy? Um, oh, I, we were told not to disclose that to anyone unless we saw them in person. The haunted room. We're, we're in the haunted room, the one that's haunted. Which hotel? Um, we put a mirror kind of sideways, so when we're having sex, uh, Bappy's going to scream... Evil, bloody Satan. Sir, that's not what I'm asking. 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 I don't care what you're asking. You okay, then I don't need question. to tell you anything. Up now. Talk about Thank you for calling Treasure Island in Las Vegas. Calls may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Someone was doing a ritual in the room. Hotel well, operator, this is Benny Rohan. May I direct your call? Hi, Evil, yeah. Evil, bloody Satan. Someone's doing a ritual out here in the hallway. Exitus spiritus. Out demon. What do I do? Hello? I'm going to connect you to security. One more. London. I'm infected yeah. with demon. Hello? Exitus spiritus. Treasure Island Security, how can I help you? Yeah, there's a guy right here, uh, he's German, and me and my wife, Bappy, he just keeps chanting at us, he's trying to resurrect the demons or something. Oh, Exodus Spiritus, yeah, demons. Honey, what's he saying? I don't he know, baby, he's, saying he's one of them German people. What's your room number? Oh. Hello? We're, we're not in the room, we're in the hallway, smartass. Thank you for calling Flamingo Guest Services. My name is Pam. Hey, may I assist you? Hello? Hey, Pam. My name is also Pam. Hello? Hi. Hi, Pam. How are you? Not too bad. Um, I have some questions. Uh, what's your policy regarding doing like a little in-room like resurrection thing? In-room resurrection? 
You mean like raising the dead? Permitted or open flames? Correct. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, no. Unfortunately, not uh, due to fire hazards. There's no smoking in the rooms either, so it won't be allowed. What about? Oh, uh, what about a wet resurrection? I'm not sure what that is. It's like no flames, but there will be water. Well, any mess you make, you you might need to clean it up. Oh yeah, we'll bring we'll bring like uh, hand towels. Well, I don't know. I I I mean, I can't give you the go ahead to do anything like that. I'm not sure why or what is involved with it. Oh, go. I can't say. No. No, no, ma'am, you have a good night. Like- what a cool thing. Oh, for Ted, I'm going to answer a call. Hey, yeah, can you transfer me to room 322? Thank you, I appreciate uh, we it. Don't have a, we don't have a 322. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody may have given me, like, partial information, like, 322. It's it's 32 or something. I don't know. Uh, what's it, the name it, of the guest? He, he, I don't, he used a pseudonym. I, I think it was probably like Che Guevara or something. I don't know. He was in this like role play thing. Like that's why I'm meeting him. He was like, "Hey, let's hang out. I'm gonna be a revolutionary and I'm gonna like liberate you." <laughs> I'm like, "I'm here for it. I'm gonna be uh, Harrison Ford yeah. and I'm gonna like be like it belongs in the museum." And then Che Guevara is gonna be like, "Oh, you basta." And I don't know. I, I yeah, like, we we don't have any rooms that have that are like three twenty two or anything remotely like that. Uh, I don't know. Is it, is there like a three and a two? Like I don't know if it's like thirteen o two or something. I, I he we were, listen. I'm not gonna lie. We yeah, both with, with that with that a correct like, name that's registered, like, I can't I can't connect you anyway. It's hotel policy. He, I mean, I get that. I get that. But he was all like, hey, listen, you got a sweet, sweet ass, and I don't want to call up in them guts. And listen, a man that, like, says that to you doesn't come around every, you know, day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure you can relate to that. Like, I'm sure you've gotten a compliment like that in the past where it's like. You're like, you know what? I'm, I, I, I'm not going to move on to that. that. That sounds really good. Yeah, I understand. But, like, we no, have, like, right? many, no, many right? rooms like, that are, like, I mean, that are, like. That have threes and twos, but without a like a name, I have no way of knowing which one it is. No, I get that. I get that. You might have seen him around. He wears like a Hawaiian shirt, and he like has like um, a cowboy hat, and he's always doing finger guns and stuff. Like he's hard. Let to me miss. get you the front and desk. I, I, they they might know. I'm in the basement. I don't I don't see any guests. Hold on one second. Nice. Dude, I mean, like, listen, any light of day. Yeah, hey, I'm looking for um, uh, John McLemore. He's a guy I met, like, at the uh, Chandelier Bar a little while ago, and he was like, you need to come to my room, I'm here. And he said he was in room, um, I think it was, like, uh, 5322 or something. It was, like, 5 and 3. It wouldn't be necessary to touch it. I mean, it was one of those things where it's like, look, he was, like, putting it on me. And I'm like, I'm listen, I'm straight as an arrow. Look, look, I, look, this is an exit only. But, like, I mean, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Like, what happens, you know, it's between you and me. Like, but he was like, hey, you need to come here. I got, I got a bunch of blow. And don't tell the hotel staff. Uh, but he's like, he's like, yeah, you should come by and like, we could like big spoon. And I was like, man, it's, it's been a while since I've been little spoon, but like, dude, yeah, who doesn't like being little spoon? You know what I'm saying? Front desk. <sighs> well, unfortunately due to privacy reasons, I cannot give you like information in regards to a guest. No, 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 no. I'm not asking that. But like, have you seen him around? He's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. And he's doing, like, finger guns and stuff, and he's, like, larger than life. And he's like, hey, here's a $300 tip. Like, 
he like thri- he like slid like a hundred dollars into my like boxers, and I was like, look, man, I mean, fuck, I pretty much have to put out, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with that kind of money, shit, Honestly, I'll be anyone's slut. Any anybody? Yeah, fucking take it. I'll take it hard. Yeah, I bet you would too, wouldn't you? Make it rain. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Thank you for calling Silver Screen. How may I assist you? Yeah, hi. Hi. Hello? Hello, can you please hold? No, I can't. We're having a situation here in the hallway. There's a man, and he has his trousers. They're around his ankles. And he has a puppet. And he says, look, look at my puppet. But it's, you know, it's like a... Okay, what floor thing. are you on? What floor the are you on? The third floor. The third floor. Okay, let me transfer the security. Let me transfer oh. the security just one moment. Oh. Look at this. My little puppet show. Look at this. You take it. Silverton Security, this is Art. How do you do? I'm just doing a little puppet show down here on one of your floors here. One and two. They, I don't know why they sent me up. I'm sorry, what? This fella handed me his phone. He said he called security. And I'm in your hall. I'm just doing a little puppet show. I say, look at this, look at this. In what hall? I guess he had a problem. In the hallway. What hallway? There's lots of hallways. Big hallway. In the hotel? I don't know. It's the hallway I was in. Yeah, in the hotel hallway. You hear him? He's like, he got a problem, I guess. I said, look at this, and he said, eh. So you stay in here in the hotel? Oh, yeah. What well, floor in the hallway. I'm not, I don't have a room here. I'm just out here doing my puppet show. Okay. What floor are you on? I'm out and on the hallway, and, and we talked about this. What floor? First floor, second oh, I'm floor, sorry. third Listen, floor? I'm in the middle of a puppet show. I don't have time to play your games, really. So if you want... Thank you for calling the retreat on Charleston Peak. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? Hi. Yes. So How I was going to come you? over there. I was going to come over there. I was wondering if you were open. Uh, yes, we're open 24 hours. Oh, good. Okay. And you'll be there? I'll be here until, um, me, myself, until 11. But there will be someone at the front desk. Okay. And what's... What's your name? Um, my name is Fernando. How can I help you? Oh, Fernando. Oh, you're a lifesaver. I've been walking out here, and it's like a desert. And I got turned around, and I found my water, but it took me three hours in the wrong way. And now I found your number here. It's written on a sign here on the wall. And it says, for a good time, call me. It says, Fernando, Fernando. So I'm happy I finally made contact with you. I was looking for a good time. Well, how did you find my name if you just asked me what it is? Yeah, it's on the wall here. It says, for a good time. I was making sure it was the right number. I just wanted to make sure because sometimes, you know, I call and it's not, you know, sometimes it says it's Jesus, but it's not Jesus. And he's... Not very friendly, and in fact, he doesn't work for the church at all. I, you know, i got to make <laughs> sure, you know. Got you. So how, and how else can I help you? Well, I was wondering if you were going to be there so that I could show you a thing or two about uh, karate. Because I do uh, karate, um, you know. Oh, you do? Yeah, I do it with chicken. I can throw the chicken in there. I kick it real far. Oh, wow. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, it goes real far. You want to watch me? I'm not going to even take my shoes off or nothing. Usually with karate, you you take your your shoes off. And then, you know, if you got foot fungus, you you can smell that from a mile away. I don't want to, you know, I don't have that problem. But, you know, what if I did, you know? I'm I'm kicking stuff all over the place. What are you going to do? 
nothing while I'm on the clock, but I do have someone that's trying to book some reservations. Can all I give right, you a call Fernando, back? listen, I'm going to let you go, but we're going to kiss, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come right up there. I'm going to kiss you right on the lips, all right? I know karate, too. <laughs> oh, perfect. All right, then, all right. We we got a, we got a meeting, all right. I'll see you. All right. All right. See you soon. What was your name? Right, have a good night. Oh, I'm uh, Axpa. My parents are assholes. They named me uh, Axpa. They they gave me a horrible name. Oh, I'm it means, sorry to hear that. It means carpet in in my native tongue. I'm I'm a carpet. Ah. And I sell carpet. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll call you later. I'm in the carpet business. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, it's I'll terrible. call back a little later. All right. All right. Thank you, Fernando. Mm. Yep. So, Thank you for applying. Tino Fernandez, how can we help you? Hello, can you hear Hello? me? Hello? Yes. Hi, I just had a, I'm staying in one of your rooms. Uh, first time from Germany. I just had a problem. Okay, what can I you help you with? Okay, do you Hello? have the crickets? There's like a crickets in my room. What you room hear? are you in? I'm in the bathroom currently, and I'm stomping on the crickets as we speak. What room number are you in? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I remember. I just, the, I'm German. The English numbers are, are new to me. But there's lots, you know, here, the crickets. What's the name on the reservation? Please just tell me you can hear them so I know I'm not crazy. Please. Yes, I can hear them. I'm trying to move you to a different room. What's the name on the reservation? Oh, well, my name is Johan, but I'm not sure it's under my name. I'm sorry, the TV, I'm watching something violent. But the crickets are... So whose name would the room be underneath? Oh, that's what I love about gangster raps. I'm not afraid of anything. Um, my Johan is my name. I'm I'm not have not gotten this room. It is in my wife's name. But we are not yet no, married. It's like a ninety day what's her fiance name? situation. Ah, uh, well, um, her her name, first or last mm-hmm. name. Her first Either name way. was Miriam. Actually, she's here. You want to speak to Miriam? I'm trying Love to find you. the room. Hold you on one speak second. To this woman. Um, what's the last name? My last name. No, your your wife. Listen, what well, like the crickets? What well, like what am I gonna do? Like okay, so listen, I've got here. I've like a lighter. I've got hairspray. I've got like, I've got nothing like a bug bomb, but I've got like a leftover from American Fourth of July, like a like a. Oh, here's my wife. Oh yeah, speak to my wife. She got the room. This is Miriam. Yes, speak to her, Lava. Thank you. I love you. Hello. Hello. Yes, he's been sawing through the legs of the bed. Yes. He sawed What's the name the of the reservation, ma'am? It's Jones. I took care of these crickets under there. We saw them off and we snatched them. And this man, he came up here and he said, Hoy, I've got a dear for you, dear. I'm going to show you the best time of your life. So I took him up on it. As I'm 84, I haven't got long there. So I've gone from bad to worse. Because now he's got his finger in me trigger. You know what I mean? He's got it up there. Oh, God. Hello. 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 Oh, God. Get your finger out of there! No! Oh, oh yeah. God, no! 
That's what gets the crickets from there. Of course. Where's Big Kathy? Kathy! To check you for crickets. Hello? You got cricket? Hello? Oh. oh my god. They're everywhere. Hello? Did you find your broom? Can you hear me now? Yeah, did you find your room? I got a missed call from you early this morning. Oh, no, you just called me saying you you were locked in your room. Why are you calling me? Oh, you're not locked in your room? Okay, bye. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello, uh, this is Angela. Can you hear me now? Hello? I got a missed call from you early this morning. Uh, who called you f earlier this morning? Why are you calling me? Because you called me. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I, can't, I can't really understand you. So did you need a room or something, sir? I, I, I can't really hear you properly. I can't really understand you. Okay, who is this? Can you repeat that? Who is this? Can you can you repeat that? I, I couldn't understand you. This is Byron. Hello? Hello. What point is this? What do you mean? How should I know? How should you know what? I don't even know who you are. It's Jimmy. Oh, okay. Hi, how are you doing? You didn't tell me why you were concerned. Concerned about what? Yeah, yeah, why are you concerned? I don't, what are you talking about? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Concerned. Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? What? I don't want you to explain it to me. I never asked you to explain it to me. Explaining what? I said, why are you concerned? Uh, what are you still talking? About? What should I be concerned about, sir? I'm not yelling at you. I'm talking to you. I didn't say anything about you yelling at me. Why? Why, why does that concern you? Why does that concern you? What do you... Who cares? I don't know. Do you? So why are you telling me? Tell you what? Why are you concerned? I'll tell you what. God damn it. I want to hear why. why tell me why. This... Why do you call me? Why? Why? Yeah, well, why? Why, why are you, you concerned? Yeah, why did you why did you call me, sir? Tell what name, I give me one good reason. About? I don't know. That's the point. Who cares? Why are you I don't concerned? Know what I'm concerned about, sir? What's your fucking problem, sir? I said, why are you concerned? God damn it. I'm oh, concerned about what? Yeah, you are. There's nothing you are. You, I am what? Concerned? Yeah, maybe. What are we going to do about it, sir? You didn't tell me why you were concerned. I'm concerned. Why are you calling me? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? I'm trying to drive a big truck. Why does that concern you? Me. Why does that concern you? Harassing me. Why? Why were you concerned? Why are you harassing me, sir? Yeah, yeah. Why are you concerned? I'm... Have a good day, sir. I'll... Why are you bye -bye. concerned? Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Okay, but anyway... I'm going to call it a night. Uh, you can find us at immoralhole.com, patreon.com forward slash manhouse militia, rogueserver.com forward slash AKSPA every Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Milk Band, can you take us out of here on the magic school bus ride? Ooh, yeah, I'm a man. It's that time again. Yes, sir. Uh.
We're heading that way again. Let's ride. My family, my dear militia people, all of us good madhouse souls. You know what? Our family, our madhouse militia family, is on a journey together each week. We're finding together that we can overcome all adversity, pain, and fear, and anger in our world. And we're learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles. And we find that our strength is the power of laughter. Kindness and joy. Nothing wrong with those things, are they? Otto and I figured this out 20 years ago. We're learning that our differences are really trivial and that we're all really more alike than different. Think about that, kids. We're all healing our collective souls together with the magical power of laughter right here on the Madhouse Malicious Show every week, Friday night at 10 p.m. right here in your earbuds. Madhouse Malicious, saving the world one laugh at a time. We're dropping it at times. We only ask it's a time. Bring a friend or brother, yeah. Bring an enemy. And we're all inspired by the magical creations of our dear John Lissimo in heaven, Carlito Hermanito. We do this every week in tribute to the magic genius that you still are and always will be in our hearts, lest we forget. And who could ever forget our dear Armani, though, that we are reliving every week right here, that fun and joy. And if you really like what's going on with the Madhouse Militia family and fun, tune in tomorrow night, Dwight Cord, about 10 p.m., and there may be a big Dwight show, hopefully. And if not, we got our dear cat with the Big screen, the cat machine. She's showing movies every night and providing hours of endless entertainment for all of our kids out there. Kids of all ages and all sizes are welcome. If you're really into the movie thing, get in there early and make a vote. Vote on them movies, everybody. We love that. My dear brother Axel helping me carry this gigantic torch forward. I couldn't do it without you, my brother. We are carrying the message to the world, and each and every one of you, my beloved, our beloved, you mean the most to me. You're keeping me alive, keeping Air Manito alive, and keeping us all alive together every week, right here in your earballs. So don't you dare miss out. The no man headed back to space. You're in the mirror universe that we encountered earlier on. <laughs> Thank you, Mouse Man. That's great. <laughs> That's my brother and I sharing joy. Just an example. So don't let it be weird. Live with the love. It won't be weird, Mouse Man. I'm weird. We it's, love it's, you, bud. You know. It's exactly Sweet that. memories it's, back. That. It's, it's that. a treasure to me. When I hear him laugh, it's, it just brings joy to my heart. You didn't know when I hear that. <laughs> People have a specific laugh that my ear catches on. KDK was another one. He was ordering cat shit, but when he laughed, he just made me feel like laughing. And same way with Armanito. Those great geniuses out there, the far and few that there are, their laughter is contagious. So let's keep oh, spreading around the world. Hello, thank you for calling the PBX operator. <laughs> hey, this is a company. <laughs> Please stop talking. Okay, I will let I'll let them know. Thank you for calling. Well, you have a good time. Okay. All right, let's make it happen. Uh, what what should the clock say when you come in? Hector Hector Big Nuts, come in, dude. Ask for Joey. All right, let's go. All right, come in, dude. I'll hook you up. Let's go. Is your son Hector? Okay. Well, you need to discipline your son, cause that boy's out of control.
Thanks, Randy. Oh, geez, by gosh. She lost it, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, I have no idea. <laughs> America's best value in this is Tim. I may have a few. I don't want to know about your sexuality. Okay. How can I help you? What are you wondering? Well, I think you should keep that to yourself. Did you call a different hotel? Daddy money boss boss money now. Cut the call, motherfucker. You're out. I know, I know where you I'm I'm coming up there right now. I'm I'm coming here, coach. I'm right now. Yeah, you're you're out. You're not gonna rent a room here tonight, you sick fuck.